Hi, and welcome to a Punk with Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a look at the Diamond Select Jean Claude Van Damme, the JCVD. And you know what we're going to see? We're going to see if he can do the Jean Claude Van Damme, right? I do that with all the figures. When this one came out, when it was mentioned to me, do I want to review this? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I do, because I need to find out if he can actually do the Jean Claude Van Damme splits and how they gave him the chairs to do it. So, anyway. We're gonna take a look at this figure, um, see how it looks. It is from Diamond Select, so it's usually a little bit bigger, I believe, on the seven inch scale. So we're gonna take a look at it, see how it compares to some other figures, see how the articulation is, because let's be honest, when it comes to a figure like this, he should have really good articulation. Uh, unfortunately, I can see those big old pins in his elbows, but uh, it's not the worst thing in the world, but we're gonna find out. So anyway, let's take a look at this. Let's see what the accessories that he comes with because he does come with a couple different heads. Um, but yeah, let's get into this before we do. If you like this type of content, if you like to see if figures can get into the Jean Claude Van Damme stance, take a second, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop some sort of obscure figure like this with a giant old box. Let's go. All right, so we got him out of his packaging now. This, from what I can tell, is from Bloodsport. Now, the chairs are completely different than what the pictures from the movie show, because it's been a long time since I've seen it. I will get a mix, I will get it mixed between Bloodsport and Kickboxer, because essentially, they are the same movie. Um, <laughs> so, the first thing we're going to get is you have this stand here. It has one peg. It also has a plug-in here, which hopefully will be able to stand him a little bit. Guess it plugs right into the back here. I'm not sure it's really going to hold him all that well because this doesn't seem all that tight. Although it looks like we can maybe tighten it a little bit like some of those cheaper ones that we get. This is a $25 figure. So as you might imagine, you might get what you pay for with $25. All right. So first, first we'll look at a couple hands that we're going to get. So he has these little fighting hands that he has that he the hands that he gets into his little fighting stances. Nice detail in the veins and everything. And even on the inside, the creases on his palms. So that does look pretty nice. We got some, uh, I guess, uh, bottle-wielding hands, I guess you could say. Uh, again, lots of veins. Knuckles look like they've been beat up a little bit. So the detail is on it's pretty good. I mean, I can't argue too much for... Again, like I mentioned, you know, a $25 figure. Now we have these bottles. Now we have one full bottle. And it is, you know, somewhat transparent, translucent. And then we have two broken bottle pieces. Now, you'd think maybe they would just do one and they'd make it connect. But from what I can tell, these are not going to connect at all. So you have... This jagged side, and it is very soft and pliable. So it's not like a neck or anything. You don't have to worry about it. And then the same thing with this one. Now, I don't rem I remember there being a bottle incident. The only thing that I can find with glass actually has to do with Kickboxer when they put their hands in the, uh, in the wax and then <laughs> put glass on it. So I don't remember what part this is from. Again, it has been a long time since I have watched either one of those movies so we have our two chairs they are essentially the exact same chair and this is what he uses to do his uh jean claude his russian splits his middle splits but quickly looking at the chair it's actually pretty nice doesn't look that bad although it looks like maybe it's a uh, p trail <laughs> easy access there you have a little trough down here i don't know what i'm talking about but it does have a little bit of weathering in it, so it is made to look like this is actually some sort of soft, um, some soft piece. They even put a, uh, made it look like the little metal bolt that's going to hold it in place. So the chairs don't look bad. If I take this Chuckles figure, I can put them right on here. And what's odd is that I just printed this, this desk and I need a chair, so... I might have to run out and get me one of these since it's $25. And you get a couple accessories. Anyway, there you go, Chuck Lawson. 
All right, so we'll look at the first head. Now, this is the beat up head, and it looks kind of cartoony, but it also looks like Jean Claude when he goes into that into that rage. You have the blood coming down from his uh, from his nose, open eyes, very angry. I don't know about the purple. I mean, I'm that's supposed to be a bruise. It's kind of strange. <laughs> you have all the looks up there in his forehead. So but then you have the hair. Again, you can tell that it's Jean-Claude. And again, we're talking about a $25 figure. So, all right. So let's just see if we can stand him regularly without having to use a stand. So there we go. Got him up on, you know, standing perfectly fine. God, this is how he's packaged and I can't believe aesthetics is really so much. But let's take a look at him. So I don't know why he has weathering around his shoulders. Maybe it's the light, but it definitely looks like he's been in the dirt. The face, again, you can tell that it's Jean-Claude, but would I say it looks exactly like him? No. I'm not really sure what there is in the middle there. I mean, I would assume this is supposed to be a face before he starts getting beat up. But the head looks pretty good there. You know, he's got the nice developed back. All right. So look at the head movement. He can look down that much. and He can look up that much. Now, you would think you really want to have some really good... Really good neck movement, real good articulation with this figure. So his arms only go down that far. All right. I don't remember his back being that large, but hey. T pose doesn't look like he's going to go up much more. Double elbows. So he gets a full range of motion right there. I haven't heated him up at all. The wrists are going to swivel. You can see how they move back and forth. A really weird feel. Uh, his ab crunch, or shall I say lack there ab, ab crunch. I mean, he can move side to side, but he definitely is not... He's not going any more than that. That is... I mean... That's pretty sad. <laughs> there is his Jean-Claude Van Damme. We'll have to kind of move that piece out. So I would say he gets a pretty damn good at Jean-Claude Van Damme. Because he does have some drop-down hips. Look at those things. Wow. Pop right back up. Double joints in the knees. Going to definitely need that to kick. He does have a thigh swivel right at the uh, at the shorts, which is nice because it's hidden. You, don't, you can't see it. Now there is no boot cut, all right, which... It's, you're kind of on the fence about it. There's no boot cut, but where would you put it, right? Put it across his thigh, then his thigh looks... I'm sorry, his calf. So then that would move and just wouldn't look right. Uh, ankle joints. So they do rock back and forth and they turn in and out. All right. So. Let's take a look. And let's just see how he fits on here. So Now... They did make these little grooves here. Now, right away, that does not look... <laughs> Let's see, can we... I guess we're going to do it like this. And thigh, kind of twist it up like this. That is a long... So I have a feeling... Well, so we're able to get him to stand up, and I really didn't try too hard. Um, that is a long gap. Uh, here is Grunt, and if you look, it's a full six inches across there. So I can't imagine this figure is going to stay up there all that well, um, unless you use some sort of ticky tack, some sort of sticky tack. Now we could probably turn the feet. Probably possibly turn the leg like this. So then we use his foot. So like this. 
probably stay up a little bit better. But if you do want a Jean-Claude Van Damme and you want to be sitting like this in this fighting pose, there you go. All right. Uh, you can already see that his legs are kind of loose. So you stand up in a kicking position without using a stand. It's going to take a little bit of work. That is for sure. So this is a figure I have a feeling you're definitely going to probably need a stand for. That is the reason why you give the back peg. But, and his leg is going to fall down. You're going to have to use some sort of solution to definitely keep him nice and tight. That's what she said. So I'm not even going to sit here and fight with this because it's going to continue to fall down. All right, so here we have our fists. They come off real easy. I was actually, uh, I'm actually kind of surprised by that. We'll put in his uh, his little fighting hand like this. Rawr, rawr. That's what it looks like he's trying to do. He's trying to claw someone. Rawr. Anyway, um, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> so you can have him in his little fighting position like this. Let's pop his head off. That comes off very easy and he's going to be in a angry state here all right so there he is very angry now that he looks more shocked like he's getting someone's giving him the shocker we'll pop this off i'll throw on a uh the bottle hand Again, it's been a long time since I've seen these movies, and I am reviewing an action figure, not the accuracy of a figure from the movie. His legs are already loose there, so we can just take the bottle, see, throw the bottle in his hand, and you can let him hold it. Now, let's say you want him to be fighting the sharp bottle, because that's the type of maniac that he is. There you go. Not a big issue. I guess we can get him to stand. I mean, yeah, I don't know if he's any worse than Quick Kick. Uh, he's maybe the wor one of the worst G.I. Joe standing ones. It's not a female so far. All right. So all we got to do, we do have these pins here. Now, I, di I didn't forget to mention the belt. So the belt is weathered. Again, looks pretty good. Uh, it'd be nice if maybe this was a soft good, but they're throwing this in for... I, I feel like I keep mentioning the $25 price point. Diamond Select are not real expensive, and sometimes they give you some pretty good figures. And he doesn't feel that bad, other than his legs are a little loose, so. Let's see, turn him this way. Let's see, that's, that is a huge issue, because his leg is just going to continue to kind of drop down like that. And let's be honest, he is supposed to be doing kicking poses, so. Not the greatest, I mean, for martial artists, not the greatest stand. So throw this up here. I can't imagine that this little itty bitty stand. I mean, this thing, I, it is so cheap. I'm sorry. Well, look, we got him, yeah, we got him up there. Look at that, woo! Get him in a good kicking pose. I see his leg doesn't even want to stay up there. Yeah, this thing is not the greatest. It's going to take a little bit of uh, a little bit to figure this guy out to get him posed. But we'll work on some poses in a few here. But there you go. That is your Jean Claude Van Damme. If you are interested, uh, BBTS does have them. Uh, if there's any other places, I'll post a link in the description where you can also get this figure if you are so interested. And he does stand. All right, so there you go. He does get the Jean-Claude Van Damme right there. So it's not bad. This is not Jean-Claude Van Damme. I'll let you figure out who it is. Again, not a bad figure. If you're a huge Jean-Claude Van Damme fan, if you're a huge Bloodsport fan, right? box i don't know it's the exact same stupid movie very entertaining
from what I remember from a long time ago. One, he's a military guy. He has to escape. The other one, he watches his brother get his get paralyzed by Tompo, I believe. I don't know. Someone's going to yell at me. and I'm sure someone's going to yell at me and say, you don't know what you're talking about. Again, I'm looking at the actual figure. Decent figure other than the legs. The legs are really, really loose. And that becomes a problem because you're trying to pose them. Correct, right? And kicking poses, uh, jumping poses, different things like that. So anyway, there you go. There's your Jean-Claude Van Damme. He does have a couple cool accessories. The chairs look really good. And I think they fit with pretty much any 112 scale figure, whether it be a 6-inch figure or seven inch figure um and he is a he is taller than the classified i meant to show you i've forgotten i think you really care because well maybe you do hold on just wheel myself over here wheel myself back so you look here you can see exactly he's much bigger than a classified figure so if you think you're going to get him to fight storm shadow or snake eyes it's not going to work if you want him to fight um you know, one of He-Man, Spawn, you have a better luck with that. Uh, probably not going to fit with the uh, Street Fighter figures either because he's going to be way too big. And they'd beat him up anyway, so it doesn't matter. I am going to get out of here. I've talked way too long. Kept you guys. You're like, oh my God, this guy he just doesn't stop rambling. That's right. You know why I ramble? Because Monday night, Toy Ramblies, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I go live if you are so interested. Facebook group page, Punks with Toys, because once you join, you're a punk with toys. And there's three simple little questions. Answer them, and I'll let you in. Don't answer them, and we boot you. We don't care, because I'm not going to go through it. Blah, blah, blah. I can go on and on, right? Instagram, a punk with toys. There's two of them. Subscribe to both. Last but not least, you're here this long. Take a second. Please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. So you're notified every time I drop some sort of video like this now i'm gonna drop some sort of video right here probably a street fighter video or a street fighter street fighter review for you to watch and down here will be like a jada i don't know it'll be a playlist or something take care